Oh man, well confidence is not running high here, so... Um, oh, I mean, it's the same as State Gold Cup, really, I mean... Generally yes, speaking, uh, performance. Like, the U.S. performance is, like, really contingent on how much you practice long nose because that's their biggest weakness. Brazil doesn't have that problem. Neither, neither does South Korea. The other teams are much weak in comparison. So, when really it comes down to, like, whether or not Shadow and Zip, who are the two players who are the, the speed masters in that, in that team, really comes down to, like, whether or not they practice. And judging from, like, their attitudes, maybe not, but I could be way off from that. Well, it should be interesting, nonetheless, um, Shoegazer, we should be seeing really great matches going on, to the, uh, going into this. Um, with this being the round of 16, this is really going to kind of separate our teams and really give you an idea of what we're going to be looking at moving forward into the quarterfinals and so on and so forth. So, this, this, this weekend is probably one of the most important weekends in terms of how the teams are going to kind of get their in-game strategy there for going for the top because now we're going to start seeing them getting filed into their actual matching and then we're going to start seeing the loser bracket and the winner bracket becoming more clear and as that becomes more clear we'll definitely be able to see who's gunning for the top and who has the best chances there. Yeah, I mean, even though you can uh, predict how it's going to work, if you have like one or two rounds in already, it will be easier to tell. Like, once you see the level of some players at higher difficulties, and once you see how the brackets are being developed... Very much like, so. That will actually give a, a good amount of knowledge to pretty much everyone to see where every single team will end up losing or winning, or when they have the best or worst chances to advance. Yeah, and speaking of teams, do note, guys, that we do have the team banners up so you can get out there and show your support to your favorite team, holding that team banner up high for all to see. And remember, if they are, if they do happen to win the World Cup, you will keep that banner held high for just a little bit longer. And those that are in the host store for purchase. And remember, all proceeds to that do help with the prize pool for our contestants. So definitely get your team support out there. Go pick up a banner today. They are pretty stylish as always. And remember, you can find those in the O store, no problem whatsoever. Congratulations, 121. <laughs> and you know, obviously you definitely want to, you know, give some support to the US, you know, buy that US banner, burger type. Yeah, oh, I'm man. definitely going to buy the US banner. Why will that not? Be oh, this is quite <laughs> this is quite interesting. It looks like we've got everybody up in here um for the room, and it looks like our first warm up is actually set up. And this song is it, it's something. March of the Panther Brigade. Actually, brigade, it's not brigade, yeah. but yeah, it's brigade. Brigade, yeah. yeah. This is gonna be good. March of the Banter Brigade. That's yeah. beautiful. What is your favorite mode in OS? Uh, standard. Mania. Actually, Tycho. Oh, did not expect that. Hmm, I would have to say my favorite mode to create for is definitely standard, but one of my favorite modes to watch is probably CTB. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll catch. Living in the past, the past is gone. <laughs> catch the users. <laughs> Just make the make the um the fruit catcher router and then make the fruits user. <laughs> or the other way around, have the catcher as fruit user and have the fruit as reader. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Anyways, that aside, um Shoegazer, now I do remember listening in a little bit before I got started and you were talking about um how the teams with uh, the long enough skill is really the ones that we're going to need to look at and I believe that is a very accurate statement especially seeing as, the, as these map pools continue to progress as we get further and further in the Mania World Cup tournament the, they're, we're starting to see a lot more long notes and they're getting put in different kinds of places and now some of these long notes aren't too bad and we're seeing lots with intuitive releases and stuff like that but what as we go into our first warm up is the Marietta long notes like mixed with jacks and stuff like that. Some of the, um, even the higher end teams seem to have issues with the long notes. 
Do you believe that's out of just um, game preference, or is that just something you don't see too much in the 4 key community? I mean, I would assume long notes are pretty basic, but um, is it more of a 7 key thing, and is that why we're seeing so many people having problems with long notes? The differentiation between long notes ability mainly stems from like the, the charting styles in different communities, because also Mania is not the only ESRG out there, which is basically like the, the, the genre that Mania falls in like most in, most of most of the charts come from Stabania, which is heavily uh, non long note focused, and not to mention like the mechanics of uh, long notes in Stabania are completely different from Mania. They don't have particular release timings whatsoever. Like you can just release it any time, you can let go. But the worst judgment, like the best judgment you can get, is just an okay. It's just basically a binary binary judgment. So I'm guessing like. Uh, like I'd say long notes, the long note ability differentiation really comes from the fact that yeah, I'd say 7K because O2 Jam is very long note based and it's the only community I know which mainly promotes like, like heavy long note usage. Yeah, and I, I mean, I noticed it's kind of fun to watch though because like you said, a lot of these people come from different play styles and different games and um, like with uh, how much more accurate you need to be here on um, Samania when you releasing on long notes in general it, it's kind of amazing how well some of these players have just kind of picked up and managed to like just really get a grasp on this in such a short time i know you only get about a week for each um map pool to practice on those and the performances we've seen are pretty impressive to say the least <laughs> most definitely if i can just interject how did go we go from Ace of Spades to Wonderwall? Um, that that's the March of the Banter Brigade, good sir. I mean, Ooh, what do we got now? <laughs> the Liam Moto is pretty great. He tends to make music like this a lot. Well, not necessarily, I... but he likes to make Nash score. I don't think I know this one. Do you know this one's a joke? Um, not this song in particular, but a few of the songs previously in this mashup I did know. And I don't know how. <laughs> and this is actually a pretty decent warm-up if you ask me. It, it tests a whole lot of things. There was a long note section beforehand, now we've got, um... Yep. Just a little bit of everything in this one. Um, all kinds of different patterns that they can use to warm up. So even though it's a little bit on the silly side with different songs, it does look good. So now we're back down to Major Tom Ground Control. <laughs> and it's okay. pretty long as well, okay. so it works. This one I know. Now what was it called? Uh, Major Tom Ground Control. I actually don't remember the name of this song. At the yeah, end no, of the right? day, though, this kind of map pool, most like map pool, I mean, this kind of warm-ups are more like to have fun and that. Indeed, most definitely. I do wonder what Malaysia will pick, though. This is most definitely a UK pick. I don't, I don't see Hope Gacha not picking this. Hipper, please. Almost everybody there. Oh my god. Uh, that is V. Yeah, that's slow jam. Oh, that's it? Okay. Yep, that's it. I kind of remember who sung the last one. I think it was Beatles, but I'm not sure. All right, and that is the first warm up there. Um, very impressive plays from everybody uh, coming out of the gate. Um, everybody having a really good. Um, Overall accuracy for it, I mean, yeah, there's some dips over there on Malaysia's side, but nothing to be expected, especially when playing a warm-up. Um, mm -hmm. It's still... I am worried about, like, um, kaname san ratio, for example, compared to everyone. Accuracy is not really strong for what I've seen. Trial land is usually the place people know. Oh yeah, this warm up is amazing. I love this song. I do not. And I'm really, I'm not happy with this shot at all. I'm yeah. gonna step away before I lose my mind. 
have a really this chart. If you guys do not know, this is used in MWC's quarterfinals. Yeah. Quarterfinals, quarter finals, yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I remember the fun. Etienne with the 100% on this one, that was crazy. But this is like a 244 jump stream, right? Yeah, it's jump stream. Like it's light jump stream, but it still is. It is jump By the way, just the pan. Yeah. I was gonna say, uh, Citro, I, I think someone's trying to say hi to you. Yeah. Hi, Abusa. Say hi. Hi. Hi, Abusa. Wow. Just got ignored there. I'm not even sorry for that one. Well, it seems like someone uses a high speed one. Yeah, Peeper is with 40, right? Yeah. It's gonna only end well. This is gonna need to well. Well, Creolin is with the hidden. That's, um something new. I think I saw him playing hidden quite a bit though, especially in fast charts, so maybe it's not that news, but it's always fun to... It's always cool to have kind of that, variation. like hidden players. Yeah. Yeah, variation. That was the word I was looking for. Hope catching using hard rock, I didn't notice that. Yep. So we got one hard rock and one hidden. Seems good. Is this like standard mode? <laughs> yeah. No, I think it's standard, there'd be a lot more hidden than hard rock. I it's also don't think we'd play an Ultimate awesome map. He'll probably break 1 million MM Remo. We're entering the first long stream. Yep, there we go. I like how I can see nothing. I probably see better with the flashlight than with the hidden from the three of them. Does not have yeah, more spawn now. Um, yes, but uh, it's 4v2. Um, mods give. Uh, it's like one X. Yeah, it gives us more mod players, so you can achieve 16 to a million. Now. Yep. It didn't, actually isn't that much harder, uh, Chippy, Chippy, Muma, or whatever, I'm sorry, I put you your name. Like, it just gives players less space to focus on. Like, sorry, not less space to focus on, but more like less information to focus on. So it's easier to weave for some players and Carl and Sean. I'm still surprised about the accuracy from Law. Like that accuracy. Law? Yeah, Law is a really beast. Good. He is a stat mania player and he's also one of the best as well. Here we go, second uh, stream. Mini Jacks are coming up too. Oh yeah. Mini Jack Mini Jacks are coming up. Yep, and it should be right now. Oh, breaks everywhere. Bob Gat is still going with the hard rock though. Law. Law. No, he's seeing a bit early. It's is amazing. Yo, what? Is this about the EDM Ws or is it Grief and Malice? That's yeah, yes. That's correct. EDM on this one. Yeah. Grief and Malice 100% is not that hard. Okay. Yeah. I just could not remember if it was this one. Yeah. Oh, Gadget will end up full comboing this with Hard Rock. That's amazing. Only a year too late, man. <laughs> but good <laughs> job.
but that will still be a victory for Malaysia, mostly because of Peeper playing with a really weird uh, scroll speed, I will say. 40 speed, 40. yeah. There you go with the rolls. We'll be <laughs> probably losing the roll. That's not too, much, too big of a surprise. I think guess the first band, Liberty, yep. Yeah, Kingdom probably ban Nightfall. Mm. Nightfall sounds about right, but I don't think they will ban the like how was it called? Damn. The one from Star like Star Strav. Oh, uh, yeah. Strap is potential. Or over the clouds, maybe. I doubt it. Think for Band Nightfall. Because of their scores on like, And they seem to have written major issues with long run releases, and Nightfall is heavily contingent on long run releases. Strap, on the other hand, just mechanic. Kind of just understanding the rhythms of it. I can very maybe, but unlikely. I think Nightfall is more daunting overall. I ban, but it's a tiebreaker anyway, so. Ah, right, yeah. This is really good. I was looking like everything but this tiebreaker. Taekwon, okay. Alright. That's fine too. I was expecting Nightfall, but then again, I guess some players can do that. Bell as well. I if it was fine with whatever, apparently. Alright, Tycoon Brewery is banning. It will be banned. It is a decent ban because the United Kingdom is a ground sick of long releases. Then again, so is Malaysia anyway, but they have an advantage when it comes to that. Well, yeah, like I will say, Malaysia has a bit of an advantage in that, but still, Tycoon Brewery is a map that it really depends on your try on the map. Like, you can have yeah. a pretty good try in general, like a good score, but. At the end, uh, the try that matters is the one that you play on the multi game, and it is pretty easy to choke even if you practice a lot. It's more high risk for sure. There's a pick trick stars. Seems like a low risk pick. Going down the list. <laughs> Lefiri, which is at the top of the list, gets banned. Typhoon Burry, second in the list, gets banned. There it is. Trick Stars gets picked. Next pick should be Marble Soda then. Marble Soda next, I'm just gonna be gone. I yeah, think that's what even gonna happen. Malaysia hates long long stuff. And that's we stuff. Maybe Paul will pick it because he's a Malayan narcissist, but we'll see. We shall see. From what I've heard, Pipper is also very consistent, so I think the main concern ultimately comes from Hayabusa. Because I know Pope Gadget, even if he's not consistent, the, the range of scores that he gets is also quite small. It's much of a problem. The law is decently consistent as well. But I know Yuji, 
Uchiha and Explosive are not as good at sp at speed compared to your other three players there. And this LG HGHR is not farmable. Because this is only V2, and V2 has not been rolled out oh, in public. That was a miss from Pokemon, right? Here. Yes, it is. Wow. That's surprising. Very early. I mean, I thought it would be like Pokemon, it would be much later in the map. I think it just, uh, is not being prepared. It kind of makes sense. Well, but because of that, Malaysia is on the lead. Not by much, though, like... 7,000. Yeah, I mean, the miss was really early, so it doesn't hurt too much, but still. Well, it's only gonna be more of a problem. At, well, it's gonna be less of a problem at the end. If you miss in the beginning, it's still bad. Just as bad as you missing in the middle. But yeah, semantics. There we go. This section is usually a part when people tend to drop a bit of accuracy. It's not looking to be the case this time, but we're about to enter into the second really long stream. Second? It's not the second stream. I think it is the second one. It's the second, yeah, then there's a third one afterwards, yeah. Expect the players to crush shoot us. We shouldn't be that much of a problem for them. Uh, UK is actually getting the lead back slowly. Explosive had a bit of an accuracy drop over there. Same from Uchiha. And with Uchiha. He comes a 14 measure stream, which is about 400 notes. Yep, and Paul Gadget manages to recover really well on that. And now the UK is on the lead. The stream is about to end, and no one is dropping accuracy. Peeper and Hayabusa with the 99.95 will end up leading the, U the US, the UK into the victory. But that was a close fight. United Kingdom took it back after the, the drop from Pope at the beginning. 11,000 of points of difference. That's really a really nice performance. Yeah, really nice swift that we have over there. The ratio is definitely going to help here. As you can see, Pop Look Gadget, Pop with only two misses. <laughs> 11 yeah. to 1. That's, That's a nasty. really good one. This keyboard hates me. Well, you missed in the beginning at least, no harm done. Yeah, I can imagine if he dropped like that with his keyboard in the middle of a really long stream. That will be something bad. Yep, yep. But anyways, uh, five full combos here. Best score goes for Hayabusa, I think it was. It is. But anyways... Uh, yeah, then we... Okay. He was 1200 by five Not the same 200 man, is it? Actually, low rates for the second high score, bro. Yeah, that sounds about right. Malaysia's pick. I wonder what they're gonna pick, actually. Like, they, their so best bet is to go for, like, straw. No, I, I go for straw, but I don't know if they're gonna pick it. Soda. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. It's gonna be interesting. I wonder if there's gonna be a swap between Law and somebody else. Because while I know Law is also an SDO player, which also has uh, long, no, long no release timings, I'm not sure if it's not tested as heavily as OC Media. I don't think they will, but even so, it's still a viable possibility. God, I love this song.
Law House your long notes. Oh boy. Most of the most of the Malaysian team isn't really good at long notes. Uh, Kryolin is the, the player with extremely good long mobility, is single and is single-handedly carrying through uh, long note charge really. There's explosive. We hit law 12 and now we've got. No, law 13, now we've explosive 12. <laughs> oh man, this banter. I missed all of it. It's too strong. But there we go, we are ready to start with Straf. Beat map selected by Malaysia. It's time for them to take one point and tie up the series. Of course, the player to watch on this particular map will be Creolium from the Malaysian side. But we will have to wait and see how the others perform as well. Law being replaced, it's going to be Explosive. a thing indeed. Yeah. yeah. Pope Gadget being the first one dropping quite a bit of accuracy over there in the long note releases, maybe? Or was on the. That is top not top. a good sign. That is a huge drop. You know, the long notes are going to get way harder from here. He got another 200 too. If we're getting yeah, two 200s himself. We get real in. Is also dropping accuracy, so that might lead me to thinking that we might see drops of combo in this following section. Perhaps. Hayabusa and Uchihaks are the only one with 100%. And it's easy to say that this would probably be one of the harder long note picks out of the maps that they could have played, correct? Well, from what's the yeah. play, yeah, but Temple Free was banned. Them. Comes a syncopated jump, syncopated long notes. Ooh, that drop from Pope is going to be huge. Oh now no! Now Malaysia takes the lead back instantly. A huge one actually, and the aggressors is still going ham there. Heidi Busa is holding the best one, but still. The rest of the chart is fodder. They like it's almost impossible to mess it up. It's almost a secure point for Malaysia at this point. Oh, explosive! Oh, explosive with that miss! That might give the chance to the United Kingdom! I don't think it But they're not taking it! Yeah, Poe Gadget's accuracy is just too behind. And oh my god, that was close! We never thought that we would be... Like, that miss at the end from explosive was so... Weird! Yeah. Oh my god, they're really close to take it, but they don't have enough time! Yeah, that uh, drop at the very end from Hayabusa there might have been what caused them not to be able to pull up. Very close score, though. Only about a 10,000 point difference. Uh, giving Malaysia that point, bringing this one all, folks. That's going to be United Kingdom's pick. Oh, Pope Gadget just being really infuriated right now. Regardless, next pick will be UK, and I believe they will probably be picking Sounds of Summer or Calamity Fortune. I don't think they'll pick Rewrite Nightmare because Pope Gacha hates long songs, but yeah, I think Man, Sounds of Summer. Everybody Calamity. hating, everybody hating on them Corsair keyboards, but a whole lot of people got them. Well, Corsair keyboards are actually pretty poor build quality, build quality actually, from what I, what I've heard, not just from them either. Don't get Corsair. Yeah. Like many players I know, like Styine, Tynan, Pope Gadget, many others that I can't really name off the top of my head. 
Well, I'm using a razor one and it's surviving somehow. I'm using a membrane. Get on my level, man. Oh, Damn. Man. Membrane hype. Oh, I haven't used a membrane keyboard in years. I think uh -huh. Gil Hermesiad also uses a membrane, right? Correct. And he's, yeah, one of the fastest players. <laughs> he is amazingly good. Like, I remember when he was like slightly under my level, and now it's just way past. Now it's just past me. I'm like really happy that he is. All right, Calamity Fortune, let's go. Hi for your map. Yes, <laughs> and it looks like there was. Uh, they got to that pretty quick. Calamity Fortune should be fun to watch, guys. I mean, I've never had a problem watching it on any of the other uh, World Cups we've had it featured on, so I don't feel like it'd be too much of a difference here with um, the main World Cup. The only yeah. difference here is one second. Uh, the only difference here is that this is in the round of 16. Therefore, <laughs> it's probably not going to be um, as hard. Um, it's a yeah. speed pick, I would imagine. I can't imagine this. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, I know what you mean. Like when you have something like this on standard, it's mostly like semi-finals to finals tier because yeah. Yeah. it is 200 BPM and streaming with only one hand and being such a long stream on some sections. But here in Mania, that speed is not really regular. that high. Yeah. 200 is completely regular in yeah. Mania. There are some one six streams in here. Yeah, like, that's probably the hardest part. Hardest part, yeah. yeah but this is still like, yeah. Um, the one six are bursts, if I remember correctly. So it, correct. This is something that they might drop on, so that's what they need to watch out for. And as they're burst, you can lose that combo in a heartbeat, and that's gonna yeah tank your accuracy. So both teams <laughs> need to be very careful um, going into this. But it looks like they're all full of jokes. At the moment. Oh. Well, yeah, oh, they're yeah. definitely having some banter over yeah. there. Good, yeah. Yes. That's not the kind of banter I think. No, nope. I'm good. Not gonna comment on that. Anywho, um, this should be pretty interesting. Now, this one's going to be pretty quick. There's a lot of uh, synopticated jump streams that they're going to watch out for. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Synopc oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, but that is going to be closer towards the end. So if we see a very yeah. even battle here, it can be decided in the very end of the map. So this should be pretty exciting. I mean, definitely it will. Like, the jump stream is not really too complex, but the burst, the 1 6 burst, might rip up some players. Like, it is mostly a focus and consistency test, but if you can handle the those birds you're probably fine like the dance section of the middle is the most complex section and it will be a matter of how good these two teams can perform on that especially yeah, right now i'm looking at it oh go ahead sorry go ahead. Oh, i was just going to say it looks like at the moment everybody's holding pretty decent um we did see a little bit of a drop in accuracy the only one still holding a double s at this moment is explosive but uh, it checks on dropping there is not going to be. Oh, never mind, that wasn't a drop. <laughs> Client dishes. Yeah, that's always good fun. Oh, and the double S's were all still real. Oh man, Client, why? <laughs> <laughs> yep, every single person on the United Kingdom is still holding 100%. Although Malaysia is not falling too much behind. So as soon as someone makes a mistake, and there it are. <laughs> Low and explosive, finding both misses in the exact same spot, dropping a huge amount of accuracy and combo. Explosive, finding another one, and that will give a huge boost to the UK's point difference. Still, everyone with 100%. Yeah, I was about to say, well, I mean, you really can't get too much of a difference when they're just destroying the map. <laughs> I mean, all like three holding a double S at this point. If we're lost, it's just double S. Oh my god, I cannot believe- No, no, Peeper! No! Why would you break that? Well, it wasn't a complete break there. He did just come um, up. Uh, yeah, it dropped like 1 to 100, but still, he was holding so strong. It's it was going to be such a highlight. Too many. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but there we go. Coming from the United Kingdom, as everyone stays strong, 
Law and Explosive were looking to get that uh, second win, but it's just not going to work if the opposing team doesn't miss a beat. And that is what Hope we are again? seeing here now. No, it doesn't no, look No, like I don't it think so. Man, you can judge just by this, like 7,000 points away of hitting the 3 millions. That is just... Wow. That's nasty. Look at Pop's accuracy too. 143. Was like 12 to 1. That's a really good one. Like Hayabusa with 100% but not the really best ratio ever. Although yeah. consistency is being a really important thing on B2. So as you can see, even beating a Peeper score, which is like with a better ratio so far. So Zitra, yes. At a round guess, what would you say the average accuracy for that map is? The average accuracy? Um, I want to give it like a ninety-nine, a ninety-nine point like um fifty, or maybe ninety-nine point seventy-five. Seventy-five looks more accurate, I will say. Yeah. Nine point seventy-three. Ooh. Yeah. So Actually, oh, nice. So yeah, slap dab in between. Yep, it was right in between my two guesses, so yeah, I might not have got it perfect, but that's about what I saw. Just seeing how everybody played that when they're um it might be a speed pick, but speed is something that a lot of our four key contestants don't really have too much of a problem with. So had a uh, high accuracy is um I would say that the players do not have issues with speed, which I will say is that speed in four key it's definitely more faster than any other mode. That is probably the main thing to point out. Like, 200 BPM in Mania is normal, while 200 BPM in Standard is pretty really fast. Yeah, don't get me wrong, Juan. I'm, I'm not trying to say that um, there aren't clear lines between teams on who's faster. Obviously, that will be seen very clearly as we move further and further in. It's just, I don't feel like, like you said, 200 BPMs, 220 going in there. I don't feel like a lot of these teams have too many issues with those. It becomes more the accuracy and the pattern types that really Definitely. seem to trip up players in this stage. Yeah, most of okay. these players' speed levels should be way above what round 16 demands. So it shouldn't be that much of a problem for them. And as a result, you also expect like some of the speed picks to be to have the best scores overall. Yeah, or at least the better pick rates in general. Alright. Yeah, but the easier speed picks. Yeah. Over the clouds, though, is going to be the pick here for Malaysia. First time we're seeing this, actually. I really like the position of uh, chart preferences that these teams are having. United Kingdom are just going for super straightforward, consistent charts. Like Rewrite Nightmare, Snow Drive, Calamity Fortune, and Sounds of Summer. Whereas Malaysia is going for something way more technical, like Strav, Over the Clouds, Rest in Peace, Labor of Fatali, but that could have been one of them as well and potentially Marble Soda, so it's going to be really neat. It's, I find it really neat to see that contrast and selection. Yeah. Even Nightfall will be a thing for Malaysia. Yeah. Yeah, this definitely, you know, Over the Clouds is definitely one of the more um, uh, unique maps in the fact that it's not really um, something that's so much worried about speed, it's more timing and accuracy here that's going to be tested. Yeah. So, Especially well, Long Nose, I will say, because uh, Timing-wise, it's pretty hard to get a good amount of rate of 300s, like perfect. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is that in B2, it doesn't matter too much how good of your ratio. I mean, how good your ratio is yeah. matter too much in B2. I do agree, like because like only the combo component uh, keeps track of rainbows, and that's only like 20%. Accuracy is far more important. But even then, like I say, the lack of like the amount of cohesion required does take a toll on these players because not many of these players are actually have strong enough cohesion to double S consistently. But look at Paper right now and Pope Gadget as well, actually. 99.5, 99.7. Everyone is actually dropping here. Pop Gadget and Paper are just really behind, though. Yeah, Krylon actually doing very well there. Hayabusa surprisingly a lot better with the long notes than I give him credit for. I mean, I've been watching him since, um, I think, oh, the SB. Mania World Cups back. And um, yep. this used to be something that was really not good for him. And long notes used to, like, not agree. But you can definitely see that um, practice does pay off as he has one of the highest accuracies for his team at this moment.
Cryolin's still over there holding the double S incredibly strong. And it does look like this technical pick might have been a good idea for Malaysia. You do not have to speak that soon because the scores are flashing back and forth eventually sometimes. And there's still one long no section at the end remaining that can trip off someone's combo. And if that happens, I can see the score jumping instantly into the other side without many issues. Oh yeah, they're right on the uh, coattails. Very close. Oh, Ooh, oh explosive. Oh, explosive. That is V is going to be the reason because Malaysia might end up losing this point. There's still the long no section remaining. We have to wait and see here is the last point that Malaysia has to come back. But it's not happening. Actually, they managed to keep the combo up. Yeah. Oh, oh an explosive dropping but another again, one. just sealing out any type of chance they would have had to take this point as uh, the United Kingdom holds incredibly strong, making sure that nothing is dropped there, maximizing out on the points given and taking that for an easy third point that's going to be 3-1 in favor of the United Kingdom. Malaysia is really going to have to step their game up if they want to remain in this match. There's only two more matches potentially if the United Kingdom can keep up this awesome streak that they're on at the moment. That's a beautiful 100% though for Kryolin. Yeah, mega kudos oh, yeah. for Kryolin for that double S. Like, not many players have even double S that chart. Like, that ratio might not be the most spectacular, but a double S, especially on score V2, is insanely impressive. So, very nice job to him for that. And, of course, the other players as well. Yuji Oha with a single, single digit 200 FC. Explosive with very good accuracy in general. Yeah, Kylan's um, really not having too many problems with most of the map pool, as it looks like. But, unfortunately, when when you go into this as a team game, an explosive not being ready for that SV slowdown really cost them that point there. But they all gave it their best. Kylan actually performing better than anyone on that map, holding that double S. Very impressive, like you said there, Shoegazer. Um, this is one of the harder maps in the map pool to time, and he just yeah. knocked that out of the park. Really surprised by that. Next post, next chart will be bought. Next pick will be from United Kingdom. I expect Rewrite Nightmare just to follow with the uh, consistency jump stream picks. I will say Sound of Summer. Yeah, Sound of Summer is viable too. Or maybe Cyrano Break even. Like, that might be too risky, but makes sense as well. Consistency picks. Like, Cyrano Break is something that Malaysia might pick, but not United Kingdom, I'd say. Yeah, I, I think the same. But, you know, UK might end up picking that if they don't really want to hard rock. Yeah, I mean, Sound of Summer is actually a pretty viable section, I mean, selection, given uh, United Kingdom's track record over this match so far. They're picking more of the consistency picks, so that would fall right in line with what they're doing. That is true. There we go. Yep, now, there we go. There there is. That was. I was. I was more a fan of like, snow drive instead of rewrite, but yeah, both works. Hell Blinder is better than snow drive, right? Yeah, probably. This is like my favorite Hell Blinder track, honestly. But yeah, rewrite like nightmare. Isn't like a what Memorial Reborn from Hell uh, from Hell Blind as well? Correct. Grief and Malice as well. Well, I like Memoria, honestly. Better than this, in my opinion. Yeah. I like Rewrite more, actually, but yeah. Rewrite Nightmare is a chart with 200 BPM jump stream. Easier than Calamity Fortune, but is a bit longer, has more fodder, has more chords, and some bursts as well, but different kinds of bursts from Calamity Fortune. are 1 8, which you can jump throw at the expense of some accuracy. But I don't think that's much of a problem because rainbow accuracy is not quite as emphasized as Scorby 2. I think it's mainly just 200 accuracy and worse. So there's that. It's gonna be a sub explosive with Law 13. Kinda makes sense. And I, I like I think Malaysia has swapped four times so far, maybe five. Well, that makes sense because they usually swap Creoling in for the long no picks and he, they swap him out for the speed picks. Yeah. All being the, the step mania and sharpshooter. But this time he will stay for rewrite nightmare, or at least that's what is looking to be the case. Yeah, it does. Like... generally more consistent. 
Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, but it does look like uh, Uchi Tong says that they have little mistakes on this song, so uh, keeping them in, they might be able to pull this one off. It's just, it's really going to come down to a consistency battle here. And given what we've yep. seen so far, as long as the United Kingdom can keep their wits about them and keep a level head in this, they might be able to pull insecure for the point. But if there is any drops around any of the sections, like the two BPM, uh, 200 BPM um, uh, jump stream section that comes into here, that's a place where you could see a potential slip up. And a small slip up like yeah. that is all either team needs to be able to capitalize and just take it forward. And cryolin has been incredibly consistent throughout the entire match. So this one should be pretty interesting. Yeah. Hope Gadget and Hope Gadget and Pipper are having this chat, this um, pension for a lot of misses this, this round. It's going to be very interesting for sure. It will be mostly like, can you keep up with the bursts? Because the rest of the song is, the map is quite easy. It's not too hard. It's just about if you can handle the burst all the time. The end though has some tricky down notes, so we might see some... Um, you also have to remember that the bursts are all jump drillable though. Yeah, but that means that. that you can drop accuracy on them if you jump drill them. Oh really? Speaking you can of just drop jump accuracy them. guys, uh, Pope Gadget actually did Pope drop Gadget. It. And um, that's that is not good going in early here, but it's only around 200 combo in, so there is still room for improvement. Um, that was just... definitely a keyboard break, though. I saw that. It is definitely a keyboard. Oh, yeah. But if Malaysia can hold this, they can definitely secure. Ooh, and Uchiha. then I'll just say that Uchiha um, does drop, and that's going to get that right back over to the United Kingdom. So back and forth, this thing goes. Who will win it? Nobody knows. I think it might just be decided at the end with the long nose section, like the kind of shield-ish section. Yeah, yeah. I get what you mean. Definitely. One thing to point out is that after this section... Oh, Pipper! Yeah, that, Oops. Is, a, that is a confirmed drop on Pipper's side. On a very easy section too, probably not too happy about that, but that's going to give a small window there for Malaysia to come back in and take advantage of these points. Oh, they will, they definitely will, look at that. They will. Closing very quickly. Also one thing to point out is that the next half, the next 40% of the chart is generally fodder. Like, you don't, you shouldn't expect many uh, combo breaks at that section, but if they are, then that's just not good news because it's very, very hard to actually lose combo. Oh, the next no, Pope with and Pope another Gadget keyboard again. That is not good for for the UK team. Well, that's definitely good for Malaysia as they could take advantage of this a little bit more and put that uh, score just a little further. But it's really close, even though we've seen two drops. It's literally a thousand points. They get larger yep. though. It might get larger, yeah, when the time goes on, because the combo scores for Pope and Piper are Pope just multiplier. really low right now. Yeah, yeah, the multiplier. But the question will be, will Malaysia be able to keep up into the next section, which is probably the harder part of the map. Like, after this uh, jump section, you'll see the long nose. Yeah, this section is fine, but I mean the long nose after oh, this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I get what you mean, though. This will be the point. There we go. Here is the point where they have to stay strong and hold on. I think, I think this part isn't too bad, uh, actually. Like maybe oh, some. Oh, you yeah. have it. Law. Like that's the... actually going to put the score right back over in the United Kingdom's favor. That is yeah. insane. That just like goes this... to show you the consistency. Sorry about that one. That's fine, it's fine. I mean, I want to say like the shields are not really that hard as you mentioned, but the problem is there's like one or two when they have a long note just after that, and that is yeah, what makes it really impossible. Yeah, they're very hard to like keep track too. You just have to do it intuitively, and that might not work out all the time. Just like what happened to Law. The scores are still really, really close, so an actually drop might end up seeing the deal. There this seems some burst remaining, but... Absolutely insane now. I will say drop a couple of two hundreds there. 
Jihax is a little bit behind in accuracy though, that is pretty much the reason because Malaysia is not able to take that lead. And, uh, so and this, yeah, this is the last chance. If there's no breaks here for the UK, they should be able to take the point. Highly doubt it though, but Hope Gadget's keyboard is a bit unpredictable. <laughs> that would be absolutely terrifying to have keyboard issues. Yeah. Not much left. I think at this point, Pope Gadget, the UK has a stranglehold. I don't think there's any point returning at this point. Yeah. Even if he breaks. Someone will have to legit choke super hard at Ooh, this point. Beeper actually choked a little bit, but not that hard, so it will be a point for the UK team. Actually, Uchiha is below 99. Oh, yeah. wow. I mean, Malaysia's definitely giving it their all here. It's just United uh, the United Kingdom's uh, consistency today is just out there. They've really been doing an incredible job. Um, Pope Gadget, even though he had a few slip-ups there, still having a very good ratio from 300 to rainbow. Um, Hayabusa doing okay with the 300 to rainbow ratio. And as you can see on Malaysia's side, the 300 ra rainbow uh, ratio is just a little bit off. You can clearly see it in the um results a cheese hacks and look at that like yeah, compare that 800 against 240 from pop gadget like there's a big difference very much so and that consistency is what uh gave united kingdom that point there and they are now looking at a potential match point with this next song that we'll be seeing in just a moment okay so this is kind of fun yeah. currently after this met well after this match now um, Japan, Korea, South Korea, and United Kingdom have all played five maps. Yeah. The United Kingdom has a better overall accuracy than Japan. That sounds about right because they haven't really picked any of the free map picks yet. So Japan was at 99.77, Korea 99.97, and UK is at 99.88. Nice. I wonder if yeah. Malaysia will pick uh, something Nightfall. like Soda now or Nightfall. Yeah, but Shoegazer does point out a very um, uh, valid uh, statement there, Deadbeat. Yes, um, United Kingdom might have a higher overall accuracy average, but like Shoegazer said, none of the actual free mod picks were used, so there's no tank in the accuracy there. As the free mod picks, while they're not physically as hard as some of them, Hard Rock and Flashlight just add in a whole detriment of possible accuracy drops and everything like that so i don't know it, it's kind of hard to say that they have the highest accuracy overall did um did japan play any of the free mod picks they all? have played, they played two. one no they played one they played sounds of someone that's it uh, all right i see and they got 99.95 99.65 and 99.2 percent accuracy didn't really slow them down that much, but that's probably where the drop came from, was from uh, Sounds of Summer. Oh, now oh, they're picking Sounds of Summer. Talking about Sound of Summer. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's a suicide pick. That is suicide. Korea. I'm sorry. Also picked um, Sounds of Summer as well. That's the only thing what both those teams played. Yeah, Sounds of Summer is the easiest chart to hard rock. I know it's going well out. I think Explosive will be subbing in. Okay, so Z drop, for what it's worth, this is 100% hit rate so far. Oh, well, no duh. I I'm not surprised <laughs> about that at all, in the slightest. Maybe not for the uh, correct reasons, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, people have a pretty large reason to pick this one, so I mean... Oh man, <laughs> I get that. It's actually quite a nice song. Like, all, all joking aside, I do like the song. It's actually kind of fun. I do not like I it. I do not all. like the song too much, honestly. I like Strap well, a lot more. At least one of us likes the song. Hey, I, I actually do. <laughs> I, but I like stuff like this. Fair enough. But you use it to map a uh, Nightcore, so it makes sense that you like this kind of stuff, I think. Oh, yeah, of course, you know. 
line, like the buildups and everything in this just screams like this could make a very awesome uh, standard map set, but I think it does pretty well in Mania too. I mean, I've gotten to look it over quite a few times with the map pool, uh, map pool showcase and stuff like that. I think well, I'd personally rather go back to Ace of Spades. What we can say about this map though is that it's pretty simple in general. Like, yeah, it achieves what it wants to achieve, but nothing more than that. Okay, I got a quick question. I don't think that's <laughs> at the start yeah. of the map. It had the one, two, and four key patterns. What are those called? Core. It's uh, tri triples. Just yeah, triples. It doesn't matter which ones are on. Well, depending yeah. on triples if you're talking hands. about seven key, you can have like the four not chords, five not chords. But in four key, they are usually triples because that's yeah. the only chord that exists. If it is double, you People... call it jump. People also call it hand because uh, yeah. you use a hand in DDR. Um, that's why people usually call. It. Yeah. That's also why you call the doubles jumps because you have to jump in order to hit them on DDR. I just wanted yeah. to ask in specific um, triples annoy the hell out of me so much. <laughs> I always yeah, find them a mission to play. Yeah, this one is looking pretty pretty good for the United Kingdom at the moment. Um, as you said, one explosive did drop there and that's not gonna look good for him, unfortunately. But um, that being said, the United Kingdom seeming to hold very high accuracy. Now, I'm not trying to uh, like stroke Hayabusa's ego or anything, but I'm actually very surprised on how well he's improved since last year. I would say since 2014. In 2016, he was already a really good player. Yeah. Yeah. I think he improved his accuracy quite a lot, but we have to see in later stages how how much he improved when it comes to harder stuff. Yeah, we're and getting into this last build-up section here, and I don't see it happening as it looks like the United Kingdom's... In, oh, and then UGX Hong dropping there, that's going to seal the deal. The United Kingdom are going to win this match 5-1. Malaysia gave it their best, impressive plays all around, but that is going to be a win for the United Kingdom. The average accuracy that United Kingdom has is disturbing. It's like 99.88 I mean, for yeah, South of Summer. Their that's accuracy nutty. is amazing, and that's hard rock enabled, guys, so that is by any means not easy. And you can see that it's definitely a little bit harder, but Hayabusa's um, 300 and rainbow ratio is nuts. Like, that is very impressive with Hard Rock on, if I do say so yeah. myself. Yeah. It's pretty similar to Pope Gadgets as well, and Pope Gadgets is also very well known to have very good accuracy. Yeah, even after that match, um, they stayed at 99.88% accuracy. That sounds about right. Alright, but as don't uh, count out Malaysia yet, guys. They are going to lose this bracket, as you know, double elimination tournament, guys. So we're not going to be seeing them gone quite yet. Um, that being said, we'll be getting into our next match in just a little bit, which is going to be Chile versus Indonesia. Now, remember, folks, if you want to show support to the team that you want to win this, be sure to head over to the O store and pick up a team banner for the Mini World Cup 2016 4 Key Edition. Uh, support your favorite team and show that banner. Uh, show that banner. That banner with uh, pride and show it proud. Support your favorite team. You know you want to get the United States banners, folks. But um, that being said, you can find those over in the O store. They're located with. If you guys are new to uh, World Cups, they're located in the O store. But for all you guys that have been with us for the last couple years or so, you guys know the drill by now. Just go ahead and check down there at the O store, pick up the banner to support the team you want to see win, and continue to enjoy the round of 16. Or you could just click the link. Love that support command. Oh yeah, you, you can also just click that lovely link. Anyway, um, I think I'll be taking my leave. Uh, I will be replaced by Daiki, uh, the, the resident admiral of Osamania. So, say hi, Daiki. Hey! Yeah, yeah it's nice having you, Shigeru. Very nice to have you, nice Shigeru. Well, it was a pleasure to come with you again, man. Yeah, same here.
we'll see you next week then. Later, man. You did. Alright. We should be getting be beginning our next match in just a moment, folks, so don't go anywhere. In five minutes, the Chili vs. Indonesia match will begin. It's going to be a pretty interesting match. Um, of course, uh, I just had a big print party. It's okay, me. Mike. <laughs> I'll, I'll, just, I'll just listen to your beautiful tiebreaker while we're waiting for the next match to start. Um, that being said, this next match is going to be Chile versus Indonesia. We are in the round of 16, everybody. So if you're just joining us, welcome. And.